Hello y'all, today is Friday, um, it's April 2nd, 2021, at 8.03 a.m. I want to say thanks to whoever, um, again, to whoever donated and helped me get out the cold. But, um, well, unfortunately, <clears throat> to stay here tonight and tomorrow night, it's going to be like close to $200. And then it'll be like 100 on Sunday night. So then I don't know if I can find a cheaper hotel. If not, then I'll have to be, go back on the streets. And it'll be still cold tonight and tomorrow night, but um, not as bad as last night. So, um,. Some of the staff here are nice, but they got this one one of the staff, you know, at the front desk. She um always treat me like she think I get on her nerves or something. And she wear like black and red hair. Those twisty things. I think they call them goddess locks. So, um you know, that's the way she always talks to me. Make me feel not like I'm not welcome here. Or like a pest or something like that. You know, so. And then one thing I hate is if I'm calling some place of business or even at the library or anywhere. And if I call... I have to wait for the, for people, and it's been like this for years. People always put me on the back burner or at the last, you know, priority. That when I'm standing at the front desk to get business business done somewhere, and somebody calls, I have to wait. And, t and even if they call after um. If they call after I'm already at the front desk, I have to hold on and wait. But then, if they're already at the phone, I mean, if they're already at the phone by the time I get to the front, I mean, whatever, to the up to the counter, then if they're already on the phone, I have to still wait for them to get off the phone. But then, if I call on the phone and then somebody comes to the counter or the front desk if if I call first and then somebody comes to the front desk a little like a couple of minutes after then I still have to be put on hold but then if somebody's at the front desk already and I call up you know after and I didn't, of course you wouldn't know but then I still have to be put on hold even during my teenage years, I used to ask, why am I always put at last priority that everybody's more important than me, <clears throat> you know, with the foster mom and everything? But then if I question that, they'll reverse it on me and say, oh, the world don't, rev like narcissistic abusers, be like, oh, the world don't re revolve around you and stuff like that when you point out them being, you know, being unfair, you know, so... Or the foster mom would try to bully, harass, and lecture me and say, oh, you want everybody to cater to you and the world don't revolve around you. But they can get everybody to cater to them and they can have whatever they demand, you know. And when the foster, anybody from the foster family wanted something from me, I have to give them what they want right away. No wasting any time and be rushed, you know. So... I have to be back on the streets um, today. I'm disappointed because I was hoping to get to spend the whole weekend here and then get a few days in at least worth of a shower. And um, the regular hotels, you know, the prices are going up really bad. So I don't know where else to go if I'm banned from that motel 
behind the setup. The same kind of similar situation that happened with the job. And I didn't think that was going to happen with the job because the online perps, they wanted me to work so bad. Get a job, go get a job. And then I got a job and look what happened. So I'm back to square one. So, <clears throat> um, oh, my head is hurting so bad. But at least I was able to get me some sleep. You know, I was able to get me some good sleep, but not enough hours. I finally went to bed close to midnight and then woke up about hmm, sometime after six o'clock. And I think I fell back asleep and then went to woke up at seven thirty and um I was wanting to sleep a little longer, but then I figured <clears throat> well, I didn't know if I should, you know, try to pay for more nights. But then I found out the prices here are outrageous. So I would ha I don't know. Um well, I'm wrongfully banned from the Quality Inn Hotel and can't go back there no more. But I looked up the online prices of, just out of curiosity, that hotel is like a hundred something dollars anyway. I'm like, wow, they, like before the prices were 59 or $60 or sometimes even 55 So it's like, me getting banned from the cheaper hotels and now forced to go to the more expensive hotels because of my targeting. And um, same thing with the transportation, you know, banned from riding the buses, so forced to get more expensive transportation. But, you know, the, the perps manipulate and maneuver me to, you know, all of us targets. They manipulate and maneuver us to act a certain way but a lot of times we don't even have to act a certain way sometimes you just get straight up banned kicked out of somewhere and banned and don't even told not even get told what you did or said wrong you know and then it's a common thing with homeless people being kicked out and banned from certain places without explanation you know so the system is designed to keep homeless people down and I think I was trying to say the other day that homelessness is more expensive. You know, I, I've researched in a lot of people that homelessness is more expensive than being housed. And why doesn't the government want to house us? Because they don't care about us. And they, you know, they want this agenda for us to um be forced to be dependent and needy and have no resources and no way to survive because they're trying to kill us off. So... I mean, if we're forced to be a burden on somebody against our will when we don't want to, then when we, it's like they have us totally blacklisted from employment when we're not allowed to get a job anywhere or better ourselves. It's like they want to keep us at this low, low level. I mean, I was hoping to get m more, um, more rest for the next at least throughout the weekend i was and i'm wondering if the prices are high because of easter that might be why i don't know it's outrageous like 178 dollars and 88 cents or something but last night it was 109 plus tax and then 122 but it's like even if, if I would have just got the money at the time that I did last night, then um, what would have happened was, if I would have got the money last night at that time, what would have happened was um, I couldn't, even if I wasn't banned from that $39 hotel, um, I would still have to wait till today anyway, because they're not open in the evening, and then they don't they're open from like 8 a.m to 6 p.m or something whatever or 8 a.m to 8 p.m so they would have been closed already anyway and i didn't get any like enough help until after eight o'clock last night or about eight o'clock last night so 
had no and, and then you know me being banned from the motel and the other hotel you know because of the gang stalking but if people wouldn't gang stalk me i wouldn't have to confront nobody but um sometimes it doesn't even ha like how how am i supposed to stay silent with somebody deliberately trying to you got one tail light and you don't and you speed fast and you purposely intend to try to strike me and hit me with your vehicle and you expect me to not come and confront you. I'm supposed to be quiet and ignore and go on about my business when you just purposely came very close to trying to run me over and try to take my life. You know, and then you can't call the police. You can't go to the police or anything like that. That's what happened at the um, Super 6 motel. And then that Marion lady, you know, people made it like as if I deserved to be punished with thumbs down for even every time I mentioned her name or mentioned an incident. And they did the same thing when I got kicked out of the, um when I got banned, fired and banned from the job from a early, I mean, well, shall I say last month, a couple of weeks ago. Like, as if I'm forbidden to even bring up or mention, you know, the abuse that happened on my job in my videos. Like, we're supposed to just stay silent. Like, you ain't gonna sit there and freaking, um, pretend to be fake nice and then sn sneakingly have the, um, sheriffs and to escort me out because of something, you know, that shouldn't even be related to any of y'all, you know? But one of the police officers, he told, he humbly told me, you did nothing wrong. And I, like some people say that it's part of the gang stalking to deal with good cop, bad cop, a good cop, bad cop thing, you know. So one cop trying to help you and the other one's being a total bitch. And people said that that's part of street theater also, you know. But it seems like the street theater it may be an act, but it's still destroying and ruining your life. You, you know, um, that certain decisions are made to destroy and punish your life behind this stage street theater setup incident. You know, so. I, like, I'm going to have to... um get off here i can't stay here i'll stay on here long and i gotta um you know trying to get quick laundry done and then i forgot to ask for um change when i was down there and some soap powder um so i gotta try to get quick laundry and um try to go get another bath and then check out by 11. And um, brush my teeth and stuff like that. You know, get my hair washed all before 11 o'clock. And then, you know, it's supposed to warm up a little bit today. But then tonight, it's supposed to be down to 47, I guess, by tomorrow morning. And so, um, and plus I was going crazy because I didn't have any place I could get to take a shower. You know, so Alex Dupree got his wish for um getting me banned from riding the buses. Well, I don't have to be harassed by him as much anymore. You know, that, I mean, that was bizarre to have to deal with that with him, that he wait till I'm homeless on the streets or wait till I'm on the buses to torment me and bully me. And you're an old ass white man and you're sitting there bullying, um, a younger black female who's just about, I don't know how old he is, but I'm probably young enough that I can be his grandchild, almost. Or maybe, you know, I can almost be young enough to be his grandchild. Because he looks like, if okay, if I'm 39, I mean, I'm 37. What am I saying? I'm 37 years old. Um, and he looked like he can be... Um, close to 70 so um he's definitely more than 30 years older than me he might be over 70 i don't know how old he is but i just wish he would stop fucking with me you know and stop trying to get me to sell my soul stop trying to get me to sell out stop trying to set me up 
I wish all the perps to try to stop me, set, trying to set me up to get my life ruined and destroyed. And then, you know, it's, it's harder. It's like when you're sleep deprived, you're more sense, hypersensitive to your know, hypersensitivity increases. And I'm already hypersensitive, but it increases and it intensifies when I'm sleep deprived and stuff like that, you, you know. So I need to get off here and go get laundry done and get out of here. So I'll see y'all later. Thanks for the help again. And I'm trying to figure out what I can do. I don't know what to do. If I can find a cheaper hotel, I'll try to go there. But if not, if not, then I'll just um have to be back on the streets tonight. So thanks and I'll see y'all later. Love y'all. Bye.